This is something which has not just shocked myself and Luna to the core, but it has shocked the entire community. Two rabbis who have been suffering with two instances of arson. First Arlington, now Needham. And now police and other faith communities are offering a big reward for information leading to an arrest. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live in Needham with the investigation underway. Mike? Paula, state police, the state fire marshal's office, and the FBI are assisting the two local communities. Meanwhile, a Needham police officer is outside of the rabbi's house for the time being. When I was real near this door, I smelled it very strong. When Rabbi door, Mendy Krinsky good. opened that back door just before 10 last night, he saw the side of his Needham home on fire. He yelled to his son to grab the extinguisher so he could put it out. It's just very sad and very painful. It's not only his home, it's also the Chabad Jewish Center. It's a place of worship and a community center, even though it looks very small, but we do a lot of Jewish outreach. 18 miles away in Arlington, around 9 last night, a police officer put out a similar fire at the Center for Jewish Life of Arlington in Belmont. It's the second fire this week at the home of Rabbi Avi Bukit. The first fire happened late Saturday night. It has targeted our personal family. And we, we, are, we, are, we are hurting because of this. Police in Arlington and Needham are calling all three of the fires suspicious. These are extremely concerning incidents in which an innocent family has lost the all-important sense of safety and security that the home is meant to convey. The two departments are working together but aren't able to say if the fires are connected just yet. We ask that all of you to be vigilant and report anything suspicious to your local law enforcement officer. It's very concerning. It's not normal. It's not acceptable. A $20,000 reward is being offered for any information that leads to an arrest. We're live in Needham tonight. I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBC News.